What's up? It's your boy Carcino here, live and uncut. And let's talk about it. Who remembers the 2011 epic album, Bad Meets Evil? The album that was so much in the works from the 90s that was 10, like 10 years too late. Sorry, take that back. 20 years too late <laughs> when it came out. Eminem and Royce the Five Nine. Now that Royce has dropped this EP, well, not an EP, it's an actual album, and it is good. The project is good, so which was like shocking. He has a classic album. Royce the Five Nine has a classic album. I thought in my lifetime I would never say those words. And I'm like, wow, I cannot believe it. From the outset and, and the setting of the album when I'm listening to it, I'm like, uh oh this could mess around and be a classic if this continues. Next song, uh-oh. Next song, uh-oh. Uh-oh, Houston. <laughs> we got a no-hitter going on here in the seventh inning. <laughs> so... Eminem comes on there and he's spitting the best he spit that he ain't even spit on his album. So I'm like, uh-oh. He's gotten through the slump. What's happening here? Now, the 2011 Bad Meets Evil album wasn't good. I'm sorry. I know this is going to disappoint a lot of people. They had a song, Bad Meets Evil. And then they talked about making the album for that. Then these two got together and made the album and it was like, eh. They missed their time. They missed the boat with silly beefs and ego on both sides. So the project just didn't work. Then they come out with the Slaughterhouse move and you know that went where it went and now they feel they're both in the right place to come out with this bad meets evil second lp when royce was talking about doing it the chances are pretty good. He's stronger than ever. I'm stronger than ever. It's just a timing thing. It's very hard to dictate what the time is going to do. So that's not really a guarantee that they're going to make it. And I don't think that they should. I think they should continually work as features on each other's songs from here and there, but stay mostly as individuals. Royce needs to stand on his own. If he can put out projects like this now, now that he's got a different mind state and he's clear-headed, this is the Royce that needs to show up on every song. So now for him, it's just consistency. Can he do this again when it's time? But down the road, who knows? But I don't think no one is like craving another Royce and Eminem album. I don't think that's the move. You know, having them on like two featured songs, that's that's cool. But anything other than that, eh. Well, anyway, that's my take on it. Y'all tell me what y'all think. Do you want to see another Royce and Eminem album or not? Let me know in the comment section. I'm out.